Hi everybody, I was recently commissioned to do a kind of last minute birthday present pet portrait painting and I wanted to walk you through my process because I was able to turn this around really quickly and I think my process might help some other people. So the first thing I did was I started by sketching her out and I didn't like my first sketch what was done in the light green so I flipped it over and I did a darker sketch that I was happy with. And then I did an acrylic wash to get myself a nice um, kind of dreamy background tone. Um, and then I wiped out the figure so that I could just jump right in and start on that without waiting for the rest of it to dry. And then my first layer was done in acrylic because acrylic obviously dries really quickly and it works as a great base for oil paint. So by doing my first layer in acrylic, I saved myself several days of dry time, which helped me get this painting done really quickly. So ordinarily, my paintings can take anywhere from 12 hours to 25 to 30, depending on the intricacy and the detail, and they'll take several weeks and I'll work on them in little chunks at a time. But this painting took me a total of three hours in two different sittings. I was able to get my first layer and my second layer done in the same sitting with just a 30 minute wait for the first layer to dry because the first layer was acrylic. So as I'm laying down my first layer, I'm really just doing big blocking of color where I started with the darks and then worked my way more towards the richer mid-tones. I didn't go in with a lot of lights and highlights because those all come at the end. Um, so basically I'm just squinting at my reference photo and then squinting back at my first layer and as long as the kind of blurry images for both kind of match up, then that would be a successful first layer with acrylic for me. Definitely not thinking of any details and definitely not trying to do any like big highlights or anything. If you try to do details right in the beginning, it's just going to bog you down and frustrate you because more like more than likely there are things that are going to need to change with the composition. Um, I, there is a point in here where I cut off the tip of the nose because I just felt like the snout was a little too long and stuff like that. So if you get too bogged down in the detail right at the beginning, then you're just kind of shooting yourself in the foot because then it's going to be even more difficult to make any changes later in the painting. So if you look now, I am going in with my second layer, which is my first layer of oils, and I'm following that same kind of process where I start with the darks and the shadows and work my way up to the midtones. I do have a smaller brush here so I can kind of put in a little more detail, but I'm still only thinking in big blocks of color and light. I'm not thinking about the individual first strands. I'm not thinking about the highlight or any reflective light on like a big, on like a very small, minute, detailed level. Um, this is another part when it comes to reflective light that having the background wash color is great because the acrylics and the oils are a little translucent. So in the lighter areas where light would have been reflected or the back or the surrounding color would have been reflected off of the shiny fur, you do get a sense of that background color kind of coming through and basically affecting the final color or tone of that part of, you know, the snout is really what I'm thinking of when I'm talking about this. So again, yeah, second layer is all about kind of redoing the first layer with a little bit more detail, starting to think of it as a dog um, and not just a blurry block of color and of course doing any sort of composition changes like I, I painted over the tip of the snout so I could bring it in just a little bit. Um, I do think that if you're doing dogs that is something to look for. Uh, I think it is a common beginner mistake to overestimate the length of the snout. And well, I say it's a beginner mistake, but here I've done a hundred dogs before and I still do it. But that's why it's so important to not go heavy on the details in the beginning until you're really happy and sure of your composition. So I think I'm still um, doing a part of the second layer here, just kind of going back and now thinking more about the details 
and highlights and and whatnot just to get a few bits in there add some dimension to the nose so it's not just a big black blop at the end of her face and basically I'm just finishing up my second layer by adding just a few little details so that when I come in the next day with my third layer I've got them all kind of already there and my third layer can be quick and painless another thing I haven't mentioned is I am using liquid fast drying medium for this specific painting because I was on such a deadline and because I used that I was able to just go in the next day with small little details which you can see me placing in now just kind of going in and darkening up the darks adding um, the little bright green stem to the little flower petals that are kind of over her finishing up the little details on her flower crown and adding more highlights and more individual fur strands is really what I'm focusing on in this last little bit. And it's totally fine to keep certain areas loose and you'll notice that I don't go back and even paint a third layer on a good portion of her body and on a good portion of the petals. I just kind of pick certain areas where I want the eye to be drawn to and those are the areas where I put in my details and leave the rest to be kind of loose. I think by doing this, of course, it quickens my painting process, but it also tells the eye where to go so that when you're, you have an audience or somebody viewing it, it's looking where you want it to look, rather than spending so much detail on the fur, um, you know, at the bottom left corner of the painting where it's just like a little bit of her body, and that's not really where you want the eye to go. You want the eye to be going right to the face and then maybe to the flowers and kind of the little dreamy magic of this cute little dachshund in her little fairy throne, which is, <laughs> you know, really where my aesthetic goes, little fairy love. So you can also see that I'm still picking up more greens and putting it in to kind of add to that reflection um, because fur, of course, is very shiny and will, it's just like hair, hair and fur both will reflect a lot of the surrounding color so in order to make it give that more natural look and then I am putting in some green tones to make that happen I'm going in and adding more highlights to the ears and more colors where they're needed and more darks and more shadows and basically just pumping up all the areas that need to be pumped up but not everything you can also see that if I'm not loving the way a strand goes, I kind of just dabble, dab it with my finger to kind of blend it so that it's not such a harsh line. So yeah guys, this was my process for doing a super fast three hour pet portrait. Start with acrylics, um, block in your colors, and then do another layer of oils that's kind of loose, and then go back in the next day and do some detail definitely have to use some sort of fast drying medium and you're good. Hope this painting helped you guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Love you. Bye.